Urban Aeronautics is stepping up plans to bring its City Hawk Evatol aircraft to market. With the origins of the project going back almost 20 years, the Israel-based company is now looking to make a major shift in the vehicle's propulsion system. It's building on more than 300 test flights already completed with a technology demonstrator for a design that is visibly different from many of its rivals. The second most exciting aspect of our design is that we're planning to use a hydrogen fuel cell to energize you know, the fully electric um, City Hawk while the, probably the first most exciting aspect of our design is that it is all about form factors. So it's the only design today with no wings and no external moving parts. As a pilot for the Israeli Air Force for over 25 years flying helicopters, I can fully recognize and appreciate the challenges and risk of operating exposed rotor in congested areas. By having no external moving parts, Urban Aeronautics says the City Hawk will be both safer and have a higher utilization rate because it will be more reliable and require less maintenance. We actually have two counter-rotating ducted fans, all internal, all internal. So when I fly the helicopters, as I said, for, flew them for over 25 years, you have these blades, the main rotor and the tail rotor spinning, you know, just on top of your head. If any of these blades hits a wall, a tree, a parallel line, a post, that's a failed accident. So if you are to design something to operate in a congested area, in an urban environment, you better have it all enclosed. And that is exactly the design that we're after. Much of the excitement among the Evatol aircraft pioneers is about the potential to revolutionize how people move around cities. But Urban Aeronautics believes that saving lives could prove to be a more significant starting point. As we designated the air taxi as the, you know, the, the lead market in terms of quantity, but we understand that it will take time for the full-blown air taxi market to evolve because of the high dependencies in ground physical infrastructure, aerial infrastructure, certification, our penetration strategy into the city is through the EMS, Emergency Medical Services. Now it makes a lot of sense to get inside, to hop over traffic, to get into the incident, say a traffic accident, and take the, you know, the injured person as fast as you can into a trauma center. So because we are a car sized, wherever you can park your car, we can land this aircraft. So we can just land on any given rooftop or even, you know, on any given junction. So you're basically viable landing on street level and that makes a difference, definitely. The switch from fossil fuel turbine engines to green propulsion is a key objective. And now Urban Aeronautics is lining up the financial support and partnerships it needs to get the City Hawk to market by its target date of 2028. But we're gonna be zero emission. And in that sense, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce electric motor and hydrogen fuel cell into our technology and to build what we believe is gonna be the best value proposition aircraft for intra-city applications. Um, this is where we are. We've just launched another round of $100 million to initiate the full-scale development. The uh, plan is to have three production-conforming prototypes by the end of 2025, to take them through testing, qualification, and certification in 27, and the start deliveries in 2029. Well, the City Hawk is just one of several hundred exciting new aircraft programs that we're tracking at futureflight.aero. There's news from this incredible sector of aviation all the time, and we're covering it 24 seven. So please keep coming back for further updates. And also, you should consider signing up for our weekly newsletter which is absolutely free.